Thank you. Namaskar, everyone. Um, just to get a few facts right very quickly, I don't use Mohit's last name as my second name. So I stick to being called Pratma Gehlo. If you were to look for me ever, I hope you do sometimes on Google. If you were to look for my stories, you'll find them under the name of Pratna Gehlo. And uh, I must add that this is not some uh, uh, mad women's lib idea that I'm using my maiden name and not my husband's uh, surname after marriage. We got married four years ago. It's basically uh, a philosophy that I think my parents uh, uh, um, instilled in us as we were growing, that you have an identity that you're born with, right? Most of us adopt our parents, our father's second name, because, you know, that's the norm in the world. And uh, thereafter, your identity is your karma, what you do. You know, what you do in your professional life, what you do in your personal lives, um, what kind of people you end up being. You know, how you behave with your family, with your friends, with your neighbors, with people who work for you. And in that sense, why should women really, you know, after marriage and after second surname. It's, it's confusing. I can't find any of my friends from school on Facebook. They've all changed their surnames. So I have to go to every name. I get 1,000 entries. I have to look for their pictures. And uh, some of them look different. Those who had long hair have very short hair now, you know. And it's not the same color. You know, it's, it's, it's another color. <laughs> A whole lot of them have their husband's picture on, uh, on their Facebook profiles. I wouldn't know them. Their husbands, like, we didn't know they existed when we were in school. And these girls met them, you know, way after college, way after doing medicine, engineering. So, yeah, you know, Sadhaji, I'm, I'm still Pratna Gehlo. I have to remain that. And uh, I will be speaking about my journey um, in the evening session, just to give you a brief idea about who I am. I've done about 18 years of journalism in India and uh, a short stint in the UK. I've worked with print and I've worked with television. I must, uh, at the very outset, say television is madding. If print is madding for uh, journalists, television, television is much worse. It's a 24-hour cycle. You never get out of it. And uh, in my time as a journalist in India, I've worked with the Indian Express, with the Asian Age, with CNN IBN, which is a TV channel, and um, with the Outlook magazine. And uh, I've written poetry. Um, my other connection to Mohit is I've written some of the lyrics of some of his songs for his private album. So uh, when he's playing music, you know, it's nice to be married to a musician because uh, you don't have to pay for music then. You, you get to hear it. <laughs> Sometimes uh, not very willingly, you know, sometimes very reluctantly, but yeah, well, you do. The other advantage is if you can string a few rhymes together, you can also be a lyricist, you know. You don't get paid for it, but you still get to be a lyricist. So, um, but of course, you know, my journey in journalism that I will be talking to you about is, um, is also, I think, my journey uh, of, of a Rajput, you know. And uh, for most of us women Rajput, you know, we grew up hearing stories about, you know, uh, Rani Lakshmi Bai, Gayatri Devi, a whole lot of them. And that's really shaped us. So I have to see all of you, or some of you at least, again for the session. And uh, we'll talk more about it then. Yes. Would that be good? That would be great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pratnaji, for a very nice uh, speech, and uh, we all enjoyed it. And so I'm sure uh, most of us will be there in your next session. Yes, definitely. One more big round of applause for Pratnaji. And the last participant for today is Varsha Singh. Varsha? Uh, 
Hi everyone, namaste. My name is Varsha Singh. Um, I'm actually Sadha Singh's old, oldest daughter. Um, it's a pleasure to be here this weekend with all of you. Um, I am another Rana kid, have been here since I was really tiny. Um, since you were you know, born. Since I was born. Um, <laughs> my nana, J.B. Singh, uh, started the chapter on the East Coast and, um, you know, it's my goal, one of my goals here to uh, continue in his footsteps and to um, respect his life. Um, so, after telling you uh, my, my very, very eclectic trajectory, um, my task was to speak on fashion for women and um, its importance in the professional workplace. Um, so that, that will be ultimately what I will be getting to, but um, my trajectory, I do have to mention because it's extremely unique. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, so um, I started my education at Boston University in pure